unboxing day. This is a uh, multimeter that I bought. Premise, um, I have an old multimeter that I bought, I don't know, 40 years ago, I'm guessing. And I was due for an upgrade. So keep in mind, you can buy a uh, regular multimeter anywhere, the Harbor Freight or any of that kind of thing for, I don't know, 30 bucks, 50 bucks. Amazon has them cheap also. But I opted to get a pretty fancy multimeter. Uh, it's made by Fluke. Let's open this up and I'll show you what it is. Okay, here's the packaging. This is a kit for automotive. Mainly automotive, but there's other things also. And comes in a soft case, apparently. So zip that, dude. Here's the contents. Here's the meter. This is an 88V or 885, I guess, Roman numeral. This is supposed to be the best thing in the world for automotive use. Looks like it comes with some kind of jack plug thing. A set of alligator clips, pretty fancy heavy duty ones. A magnet for the back of it. Some other kind of test lead. Have to see what the hell that is. And some other test lead stuff here. These are cool. Luke's got some neat test leads, so just the tip steps out, or you can twist them, and they'll come down farther. Yeah, I'll show you that in a second. That's pretty cool. There's a strap to go with the magnet. Cookies, also. They didn't come with it. Um, this is an inductive lead for, uh, for a tachometer. You can hook it to the spark plug wire if you don't have a tack. And more test leads. So that's kind of cool. And I'll kind of set this up and I'll show you why I bought it. Here's these test leads. If you twist this, it exposes more of them. Both of them do it. Both the positive and the negative. Those are kind of cool. All right, Fluke is supposed to be the gold standard, the super duper triple combo of multimeters. Here's the meter. Uh, has all the standard stuff, uh, volts, millivolts, um, <laughs> continuity and ohms, milliamps, and I don't remember what this is, but it's smaller than a milliamp. Just don't know the terminology. Anyway, I bought this because mainly I work on cars, obviously. So, pretty cool setup. It's not real heavy. It is nice to have the bigger display. That's pretty nice. It's got a real heavy rubber outer to it. Uh, it does have a drop test rating of, I think it was 20 feet. That's cool. Uh, this is also, also has a lifetime warranty. That's another reason I bought it. It has the min and max settings. Um, the high res thing gives you a light, which I don't know if you can see that or not. Kind of. And there's a bunch of other stuff. It'll do RPMs, like I say, if you put the leads in the right section and use that inductive thing and put it on the spark plug wire, that's pretty cool. Um, the main reason I bought this is... Uh, my other one's ancient, so I've been getting by with my, uh, I can't even remember how what I paid for it, probably $15 Radio Shack unit forever. Radio Shack, it's that old, seriously. Anyway, and I thought I'd do an upgrade. This thing is not cheap. Uh, this is, this was about a $700 setup. Do I, do you need that to work on a car? No, you don't, but... It has some nice features, and I thought I'll never have to buy one again. So, 
Anyway, we'll run through a few of the features. Included with this is kind of a cheat sheet. Shows you how to do things quickly. There's a fuse test, the test lead alert for these functions. Uh, voltage, like I said, there's different voltage. You got AC, DC, and millivolt. Um, it'll actually uh, check temperature if you have the probe for it, which I think that is this guy right here. So that's kind of cool. Uh, resistance, of course, conductance, continuity, gives you a little buzzer. Um, this is a true RMS meter. Uh, let's see. Power up. Regular current, milliamps, all that. Diode testing, pretty much all meters do that. Um, duty cycle and dwell, that's kind of cool. Frequency, pulse width, that's another reason I bought it for injectors and such. Uh, there is the spark plug setup where you plug it in and it runs that. Like I say, you hook that to the number one spark plug wire and it'll give you a tag when you're out, in the, out on the engine bay doing stuff. Uh, Min max average, a lot of meters have that. Auto hold. Uh, the high res mode, I showed you that, and relative zero. That, I don't know what that is, so I would have to look it up. There's the strap set up, or it goes in the back, and the magnet. This is cool. Um, this has all your dwell settings here, duty cycle things. This little card's pretty cool. Just that alone is neat. I'm pretty stoked. I want to go play with it a little bit. I don't know what the hell this is. If anybody in the comments knows what that is before I look it up and whatever. I can see that you push these things in and this pulls down. It hooks onto something. And there's a pin that's in the center of it. If you twist this in. Obviously to probe a wire of some sort. But I have no idea how that works. Anyway, I'm pretty excited. I know this is a short video, but uh, yeah, this is my new uh, multimeter. I'm gonna put a link in my description below to it if anybody else maybe wants one. I am an Amazon affiliate. Um, I get a little bit out of it if you buy through my Amazon account thing, link, whatever you call it. Um, didn't cost you any more, but just gives me a little kickback thing. Everybody has that. You've seen that before. Anyway, pretty excited. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.